This video is about how I remember uh, about four basic functional friction hitches because I don't use all these hitches every day. I find it easiest to remember them by association. First of all, I'll associate them with the Blake's hitch. I think the Blake's hitch is probably the first, first hitch that I learned climbing on a DDRT system. The uh, <clears throat> next hitch I use by association is the Swabish. And I think when somebody is making a transition from a single eye split tail to an eye to eye split tail and they're still using DDRT, that's probably the next step that is made as it has a very familiar orientation with the Blake's hitch. This is not a video about how to tie friction hitches. This is a video just how I try to remember several friction hitches that I have in my toolbox, including the Swabish, which is easy to identify. I use the uh, Volatrain Trace, the Adistal, the Machoa Can, and the Canute. The uh, Volatrain Trace, or VT, is probably one of the first and most common friction hitches that's used. I find it very smooth. It distributes the friction friction well. It starts by a number of wraps and a number of braids either over and under and under and over. That can be varied depending on your needs. Works really well. Sets well. That's the Volatain Trace. When I do the loops, if I'm looking down at the rope, I go I go counterclockwise. So when I start the Volatain Trace, if I'm looking down on that, I'll always go this direction. Maybe it's just because I'm right-handed, but that's the direction I go on the Volatain Trace. The next hitch that I'll try, and I usually keep a 32-inch eye-to-eye and a 28-inch eye-to-eye. These next hitches are a little more compact than the VT, and the first one is the, v, is the uh, Diesel. And the distal is easy for me to remember because if you tied a swabish and messed it up and went the opposite direction, you end up with a very visually easy to identify knot, and it's uh, very closely related to the uh, swabish and a little more compact than some of the other knots. So that's the distal. Works really well on lanyards and climbing systems. <clears throat> One modification that's easy to make on a friction hitch if it's not working the way you want it to work is by switching the side on which the IEIs connect. doesn't set as well so simply by simply by switching the side of that connection oftentimes my hitch will function better and sometimes not so I'll try a different hitch So the next friction hitch that I use, and the way that I remember it, is the Blake's hitch. If you start out by tying a Blake's hitch with one loop around my thumb, and then a number of wraps, and of course that number of wraps that you use can always vary, and I come up and I do it just like I'm doing a Blake's hitch. So there's the Michoacan, 
not setting real well. Again. Try it on the other side. And see if it performs better. That's better. All right, the next hitch that I'll remember is the Canute. And the Canute, I'll start out with the diesel, that bottom wrap. And then if all of a sudden I get confused and start tying a VT and I make my wraps counterclockwise, and then I realize I made my mistake and just pull out that little hole, tuck that tuck that in the hole and there's the canute notice today that canute seems like it's the one that's holding the best on this climbing one so there I'm happy with that and that works well again on a lanyard so that's how I remember to tie the Michoacan the diesel and the Canute from recognizing the bullet train trace and the Swabish